Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. Before we get into talking about the newest horse games that are coming out this year, 2022, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, comment, and also like the video. Anyway, let's get into it. Horse Shelter is a game where you can own and look after horses. You can train them, go to events, and even do riding lessons. There's also competitions and plenty of features. You also can create your own horses, build your own racetracks. And by the way, if you save the game to your Steam wishlist, you will get a discount when it is released. The care system in the game and the interactions we have with the horse look amazing. From what I could see, the game is mostly first person, so we can imagine that we are really an equestrian. You can own a bunch of different horses from what I could see, since we can grow our stable. It looks pretty cool, but I do wish the horses were taller or something, because right now our rider looks a little bit too big for the horse. But I do really love how in the trailer it shows that we could give the food to the horse in their stall. So it's really interesting how we could look through our own eyes. It's first person and we could explore the game like that. And obviously there is third person attributes where we could, from a third person perspective, view ourselves riding around. But still, it's nice to have that option to be first person or third person. In Ranch of Rivershine, you can explore, own horses, and care for them. You can also take part in different races, English or Western, and just have a fun time in the 3D horse world. There's also pastures for our horses in that game, something Star Stable doesn't have, even though we've been asking them to add it for years. There's also apparently villagers to befriend in this game, and you can also raise your own foals. That horse game is another game where you can have your own house and stable, from what I could see. There's also a huge world you can explore when riding with your horse. The game also has weather mechanics, so you might have snowy days, or sunny days, maybe even rainy days. I think I saw lightning in the trailer too, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you could ride, train your horse, and also take part in various disciplines. Horses also can refuse jumps and also express personality. Tales of Rain Ravine is a fun looking game. It is vibrant. It has lots of really pretty colors and kind of looks like Equestrian, the game. This game also includes places to explore and the horses I think have personality and also can refuse jumps. You can also ride in first person, which I'm extremely impressed with because the first person option looks exactly like a GoPro camera horse video. Plus, I can almost feel the strides of the horse from watching the first person POV in the video. I actually feel like this game is a game where you could really feel as though this is a horse, not just some digital robot. You can also have your own stable and probably a lot of other features you would expect in a typical horse game. But what makes this game interesting to me is that the graphics for the stables, the horses and the riding looks awfully realistic. I think it's just very, very aesthetically pleasing. And I can't wait to play it because I could build my own classy English stable and probably test out competitions. But until it is released, I guess we'll have to wait. But I would like to say I also love the small details, like how the hoof prints of our horse don't disappear. In the trailers and the videos that I will be showing, you could tell that the horse has hoof prints that are in the dirt and they don't 
go away, like in Star Stable. The hoof prints stay. So I could just imagine that if we were playing with friends in the game, they if they can't find us, like, they could just follow our trail. Lastly, Equestrian the game. I heard just a few days ago that this game is going to be globally released in May, which means that the people in the United States and all around the world, I think, can play this game. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting to play this game for very, very long. But in case you haven't heard me talk about it already, in this game, you can make your own horses, have your own stable, manage your own game and you could also customize your player and explore the world. The graphic style is minimalistic in my opinion, but I think that the art style of the game makes it look very amazing. The game looks very clean, and the game developers, from what I could see, have put a great amount of effort into giving these horses personality. I also read that genetics are a thing in this game, so now if you breed horses, you better watch out because horses in this game are more than just color. They are just like real horses. They have genes. You could also compete and do a lot more in this game. It's an equestrian life. The best I could phrase this game is, it's like a simulator for living as an equestrian and doing the equestrian things. I'm not sure if you could play with friends in this game yet, but if we are able to, that would be amazing because I know a lot of people are saying that Equestrian the game looks boring to them because they think that it's just any other horse game, but I disagree with that because I think that Equestrian the game looks very special. I feel like if I was playing Equestrian the game, I would stay engaged for all the time I was playing it. But yeah, that is it for all the horse games I could think of that are coming out this year in 2022. If you could think of any other horse games that are being released, make sure you comment them down below. And also tell me your favorite horse games from this list. And also what are your favorite things about them that I am showing you in the trailers. And also in the other videos I included. But yeah, that's it for now. Bye!